The title of this work is Momentum Conscious for Unsupervised Visual Representation Learning. This work is done by Kai Ming, Hao Qi, Yu Xin, Sai Ning, and Ross. In this work, we show that our unsupervised pre-training method can surpass its supervised counterpart in multiple vision tasks on detection of segmentation. In some cases, it can surpass by big margins. Moreover, our method can be scaled out to 1 billion images and show improvement. In the past years, unsupervised learning has been very successful in NLP, for example, as shown by BERT. In an NLP pretext task, given an input, the network is asked to predict one or multiple words. Using a dictionary of words, a loss can be defined as a dictionary lookup problem. A query is matched to a key in the dictionary. As an analogy in computer vision, given an image, one can encode this image and view the feature as a query. The dictionary can be built up by the features of a large set of image samples. Then a loss can be defined following the dictionary lookup problem. Unlike the scenario in NLP, the dictionary in computer vision is not readily available. Instead, the dictionary is computed on the fly dynamically by applying an encoder to a set of image samples. The dictionary lookup problem happens in the feature space. This methodology is known as constructive learning, which dates back to at least CVPR 2006. In this work, we propose Momentum Contrast, or MOCO, based on the perspective of constructive learning as dictionary lookup. MOCO addresses two challenges in constructive learning. First, how to make the dynamic dictionary large, which is empirically important for good accuracy. Second, in the context of SGD training, how to make the dynamic dictionary consistent when the encoder is being updated. In the constructive learning framework, to have a large dictionary, we maintain the features in the previous batch as a queue. The dictionary consists of the current and previous batches, and it is not limited by the batch size. The features in this dictionary are from an updating encoder that covers multiple batches, so they are less consistent. To improve the consistency of the features, we propose to use a momentum encoder that is slowly updated. The momentum encoder is a moving average of the original encoder. In the paper, we show by ablation experiment that this momentum encoder is of central importance. Given the MOCO method, we first evaluate under the ImageNet linear classifier setting. Here, the x-axis is the model size, and the y-axis is the accuracy. At the time of submission, our method has the best accuracy of the standard ResNet 50 model. With some improvement, we further achieve state-of-the-art accuracy of ResNet 50. Beyond ImageNet, it is important to evaluate unsupervised representation learning by transfer learning. Here we show the results on VOC object detection using faster RCNN comparing previous unsupervised pre-training methods with their supervised baselines. All previous methods are behind supervised pre-training. However, unsupervised pre-training using MOCO can surpass the supervised counterpart in this long-standing challenge. Moreover, MOCO can benefit from pre-training in 1 billion images and show more improvement. Even further, MOCO shows bigger gains in more stringent metrics. For example, it improves over supervised pre-training by 9 points in the AP75 metric. We have studied many more datasets and tasks and observed promising results, including VOC detection with a larger training set, COCO detection, COCO instance segmentation, COCO key point, COCO dense post, Elvis instance segmentation, and cityscape semantic segmentation. We have observed a negative result on VOC semantic segmentation, but the gap is pretty small. All these results show promising signals of unsupervised representation learning. In conclusion, we showed that unsupervised pre-training can surpass its supervised counterpart in many tasks. The code of this work is available online. Thank you for your attention.